will literally show you the career that you've been wanting to see. Time to experience the nooks and crannies of careers with your own two feet on K Patch with Cedric. Perhaps more so today than ever, we will really show you the career that maybe you've been wanting to see. Here in the studio, we've got a masked up Cedric. Hello, oh, yes. Buddy. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I I might sound a little weird, but that's because of the mask. But uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't infect anybody. Not to say that I have anything. No, he's not confirmed I don't. Let's or anything. make that clear. That's the theme of the show today. Yes. Is homemade hygiene products. And wow. Yeah, I've not seen a mask like that i can't <laughs> say it looks completely like the ones you buy in the stores it's a little different a little bit different a little different uh i said it i've got an idea because i think there are some people who are listening just via the visual uh, rate uh, audio i should yeah. say who maybe can't hear it as well sure. we'll take it off for now and you're going to teach us how to make that mask absolutely later on. <laughs> there we go it's it's better than i thought it would look actually and better than what i could be able to do uh, you spent the weekend doing that. Yeah, I did. I did. It was actually quite fun. It took. Uh, it didn't take too much time either. So I'm glad. I will show you guys how to do it in less than two minutes. Fantastic. Have you been otherwise over the past week? Staying in, being out. Uh, yeah, staying in. Uh, really at smaller cafes, just okay. where there's not a lot of people doing little work. I actually got a chance yesterday to walk out in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and I got to walk a dog that wasn't my own but what? uh did you walk someone else's it's dog? It's someone else's dog, yeah. <laughs> Randomly or someone you <laughs> yes. know? Yeah, I saw a cute dog just grabbed it, started <laughs> I'm walking. Take it. that for a walk. No, it was a it was a friend of ours, <laughs> oh. uh Becky and I. We just kinda spent the day babysitting the dog and uh taking it for a walk, went to a little cafe. That's where they, nice. Yeah, where they allow the dog. So that was really good because I'm not I'm not really a pet person and me so neither. I think a certain someone is trying to warm me up to the idea of Oh, dear. <laughs> having a pet around. <laughs> I think so. it can be lovely to have a pet, can't it? But it can also be a big responsibility. Yeah. That's what's always turned me off. Like, it's optional to get a pet. So I was like, I don't want the extra uh, responsibility. Exactly. And you have kids, you know, so I mean, that's... I already have two pets. Just... <laughs> yeah. And I cannot get rid of them at all. Uh, get on to the hashtag before we get on to a bit of COVID talk, because many of our listeners have sent in messages for that. But potato or kamja is our hashtag today. Oh. You potato fan? I love potatoes. What's your favorite potato dish? Then? Um, I would have to say uh, it's just some... French fries with mm. a bunch of toppings and fixings on it. Oh, you yeah, like them so decorated with I stuff. I love it. Cheese, jalapeno, barbecue <sighs> sauce, sometimes even with like pulled pork barbecue. Ooh. That must be a southern thing in the States. but Is that a combination there? It though? is. It oh. is. I mean, at certain restaurants or places, you might be able to get things like that. But I mean, there's tons that you could do with uh -huh. French fries. You could put anything on it and it'll taste good. Yeah, in Korea, I came across a similar thing to pulled pork with the fries is kimchi carnita fries at a Mexican restaurant here which I think is Mexican style pulled pork mm -hmm. and then it had kimchi yeah. in as well with the salsa uh, it was so amazing that oh tastes brilliant goodness. one of our VLive listeners kept it simple but I think this could be one of the best potato dishes for me just the Mookie D's french fries when they're freshly cooked and they're crispy Oh, that tastes amazing. That's hard to argue. Yeah. That's, that's arguably one of the best fries in the world. And not expensive, easily accessible, probably yeah. terrible for your arteries. Absolutely. But we'll ignore that fact. <laughs> uh, we are talking COVID-19 today. Yeah. And we've got loads of messages waiting for you already, Cedric. So let's get to these before we start your segment with your videos. Yeah, sure. Gabby says in Peru, we're actually waiting for an announcement from the president any minute now. There are rumors that he's going to enforce a curfew. Oh, wow, to stop the spread. That's mm. interesting. Maybe effective as well. Yeah, absolutely. Donna in New York says, My brother lives in Florida and all the beaches have been closed until mid-April. Wow, you can't even go to the beach? Right. I mean, I would imagine, I guess in Florida, the beaches can get pretty dense as well, especially yeah. once it gets warmer. So maybe that is the best idea. Yeah. Here in Korea, I think it's the best of both worlds because I heard something on the news driving in here. China was really draconian and you basically couldn't leave your house. It was in lockdown. Mm -hmm. I think they were talking about hundreds of millions of people. People, but it's been effective. But in Korea, it's like optional, mm -hmm. but everyone seems to be doing it sensibly. Right. Like you can go to the beach if you want, but I guess if it was crowded, people wouldn't go, right? Yeah, right. And both idea. both methods have been effective. Yeah, in yeah. Way, China so. and Korea, right? Mm -hmm. uh, who Sam says, do you guys have old people from your family sending you recipes on what to eat and drink to protect yourself from COVID-19? My grandma thinks garlic and ginger can do miracles. 
Here in Korea, we've talked about it on the show as well, like ginseng and kimchi, those sales have increased because they're just generally good health foods. And I think, yeah, it's not going to cure COVID or completely stop you, but it's good to have like healthy foods to up your immunity. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It wouldn't hurt. And Fat says, yesterday uh, saw the biggest increase in COVID-19 cases over 24 hours here. I'm not sure where Faz is located. I think Malaysia. Okay, Malaysia. Oh, okay, wow. Now good. the total cases stand at 428. Yeah, Zana also saying, confirming that in Malaysia, highest number we've reached, COVID, please go away. It was kind of the opposite of Korea. We got under 100, I think, for mm -hmm. the first time in like three weeks. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this is the trend that we can continue as well. Little Pumpkin Pie says, Southwest US, we have Berea with potatoes in them, eggs, bacon, sausage, and green or red chili. That sounds like a <laughs> filling burrito. I want that. Amazing stuff. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Breakfast style there. All right. We're oh. not going to talk about food all day, okay. despite me wanting to. <laughs> Today's theme. We're so. going to be talking about personal self-hygiene mm -hmm. in the form of do-it-yourself. So I'm going to show you how to create your own mask and also your own hand sanitizer. This is going to be really useful, I believe. I think so. For many of our listeners who are maybe going through the panic stages of COVID-19. Right? right. Especially, I know that in the States right now, mm -hmm. in a lot of places, hand sanitizers are sold off the shelf. Yeah. Uh, you know, and other items that I can't understand why, but... Toilet you know, roll. Toilet rolls. Like, Can I you make masks from toilet rolls? Rolls? I, don't, ah. I don't think so. Yeah, probably not as effective. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is going to be very good and insightful, just in case you guys are in a position where you can at least get the things to make the items uh -huh. and make it yourself when things when there's a shortage. Yeah, here in Korea, we haven't been panic buying per se, but it is very difficult to get masks still. We've got the rationing system of two per week. Mm -hmm. So if you're using the daily ones a lot every day, you do need to maybe make your own. So this yeah. could be useful for even Korean listeners as well. Are you a big DIYer usually? Um, I am not, to be honest. I, okay. I'd rather be the person to, to purchase stuff yes. because I believe in saving my own time. But also, Absolutely. more so, I, I'm not the best DIY person because I had a traumatic experience about what? 10 years ago. What traumatic DIY experience yeah, happened so to you? I, I, so for those of you guys watching, I know you can't see, but I almost cut off my pinky. What? Actually trying to sand, sand my mom's deck. Oh, no. Yes. And so I had a belt sander and it got caught in there. And as oh, you can no. see, Peter, yeah. uh, you see my nail grew back back in a very weird way. Oh, I see. But I it's lost most of, of my more nails. Arch yeah, it's almost usual. like a roof, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so from that point on because <sighs> I but at that point I was like I'm going to do everything myself, save money. Sure. But from there I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. Maybe a professional would be yeah. better. Yeah. If you yeah. can afford it, I think getting someone who's <laughs> an expert in it is a good Oh way. man. Yeah. I know some people love to DIY and interiors got massive in career doing your own like apartment mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But we're talking about really essential DIY yeah for COVID-19. So what's the first video going to show us? So the first video is going to be us make, making a mask and Ooh. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly and effectively. So let's watch. Dish towel. Dish towel. You have those uh, dry Shoe mop laces. sheets. Wow. So these are what you need. Dry oh, mop sheets. Okay. What's those that? are little twist ties that you could put on like packaging. Okay, to like close that. them. And little accessories that will help you build. Ruler, scissor and some tape. Yeah. Okay. So, so, you, so, so far, nothing too. No, difficult. it's nothing crazy. Just make sure you measure it quite accurately. So, 25 centimeters, and you just cut. Did you uh, find these instructions on the internet? I, I did, okay, yes. Cool. Yes. Actually, some Korean blog sites have oh, these too. Oh, nice. So, cutting it 25 centimeters. Right. Now, this, once you actually do a little knot at the end, you want to make sure they're about eight inches or so. Okay, the shoelaces. Right. So, then you're going to fold the dish towel, leave a little gap there, at the a little top. extra okay. at the top. So, not folding it exactly in half. And then you're putting that dry cloth inside. Yeah. And you need that little extra space there because you need to put the twist tie there. Okay. And that's going to be the part that goes over your nose. Oh, like the nose clips that we have in the regular masks. Mm -hmm. And then you tape it together. Tape it up and you can fold it into thirds. Now there are different ways to fold it, but uh, the thirds is sort of a common way. Okay. And you just tie the ends around the string uh -huh. and you tape it. Okay, to tape it securely. Yeah. And then you can open it up. Oh, wow. And then bam. 
That's actually That's not it. that long a process. Like, no. I thought to make a mask would take ages with sewing and stuff like that. No, I mean, I suppose you could spend more time if you really want to fine tune uh -huh. uh, the, the mask. But uh, yeah, just simply doing, I think that is far better than having no mask at all. Sure. Can yeah. I see your finished version? Okay, then? so <laughs> like, this is the finished version. Okay. I do have a couple of tips for those of you guys that want to make your own mask. Now, yeah. I was able to uh, actually tie this together with shoestring yeah. right here on the sides and then also uh, use packing tape. But the recommended tape to use is actual like medical tape. And I think that's because it it, it uh, can attach to fabric, which like this dishcloth here, sure. it can attach to fabric a lot better. Wow. And so I did have a little issue with using the packing tape, but it does do the trick yeah, if you use enough. Yeah, it has worked. I guess if you could get some kind of elastic as well exactly. for the ear parts. That exactly, which I could not laces. find yeah. because they, but, uh, they were out. But this still does the job as well. It does. That's amazing. And what is the thing, sorry, again, in the middle of this dishcloth, like the layer that you so put inside? So have you seen those dry mops where you'll clean the floor and dry mop the floor. I think it floor, works with like call. static or something mm -hmm. to attract yes. the dust. Yes. That's in here. Yeah, so a that serves, filter. exactly. So I think it's kind of like a two-ply, two-layer filter type of thing going on. Wow. And so that's definitely going to help protect against, especially like bigger particles that come in. And if you, you know, God forbid, if you have the disease yourself, it'll help with protecting others around you. I'm sure it'd be pretty effective at stopping like respiratory droplets getting out if yeah, you're sneezing and exactly. coughing, right? It's not airtight, like it's not gonna be KF94, but right. no, it's stopping a big area from your mouth and nose. Right, and another thing is it will remind you to not touch your face. And if you happen to try to touch your face, you have the mask on. So that's another layer of protection right there. That's not bad at all. I might do this with the kids just as something fun yeah, to do together, yeah, yeah. right? And then you could decorate it, I suppose. I don't know what ink would do to the surface <laughs> or maybe a couple of stickers yeah the only disadvantage is it's it's quite huge and bulky can, so can you'll you wear it just before bit, while sure. i'm introducing the song okay it doesn't look as fashionable as some of the black masks that you can get which no. make you look like a celebrity this makes you look like i don't know what to say <laughs> nicely it does look like you've just made it at home but as we said in the mask shortage and from afar maybe people wouldn't notice right yeah right. i don't know like 100 meters or so. yeah i feel like some sort of comic character or something fantastic let us know what you think and let us have any photos of what the situation's like in your country we're going to play some 17 are you nice very nice Time for part two, K-Patch with Cedric in the studio talking about homemade DIY sanitation products, hygiene products that you can use as a last resort, I suppose. Maybe not the first line of defense. The mask was, it's good, it's good, Cedric. But no. I don't know if I'd wear it as a fashion <laughs> item. Uh, right. We've got one more message for potatoes before we get on to some of your COVID-19 related ones. Uh, Forest Phil Obba saying, not much of a potato file here these days. I try to avoid starch as part of my dieting, just meat and greens. But if I had to say a favorite potato dish, it would be French fries or potato chips. That's mostly salt anyway, isn't it? Yes, delicious 100%. salt, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Donner in New York regarding COVID-19. Now my coworker thought one of those cosmetic facial masks was a mask mask. Oh, the ones that improve your skin and are all wet and soggy. Yeah. That's not going to protect you from COVID-19. That might even uh, make things worse. I don't know. Just attracting all the Yeah, the there are particles. holes, especially for your nose and your mouth. <laughs> so it's not going to do anything. Although you would look lovely, yeah. I suppose. And those used to be the most popular masks to buy in Korea. I think they've been taken over by these masks. And in Korean, yeah, we just call them both masks. Yeah, we like, do. There's no distinction. So be careful what you're asking for. <laughs> you might get something completely different. Hussam says, Sedi, I don't see any way to convince teenagers to wear that mask that you made outdoors. Oh, man. You, you got to get a celebrity to actually Bieber. wear that. Yeah, yeah, Gomez. Bieber. Some, someone, yeah, and then it'll become a trend. And <laughs> trends would. are pretty, I think, easy to start here in Korea, depending on who starts it. Yeah, let's get a member of BTS to wear it. <laughs> and Hussam also says, in Lebanon, university students who are home due to the school's suspension are volunteering to deliver shopping to neighbours' doors to encourage people to stay at home. That's a wonderful thing that the community is doing. Well done, Hussam. Oh, yeah, there. yeah, absolutely. Louise Thian says, there will be a peak and spike for a duration of two weeks, given that the COVID-19 incubation period is two weeks at least mm -hmm. stay alert fam and just ensure the personal hygiene 
you'll be fine. Hopefully, yes. yes. So just just take the advice that we're giving you and make these products at home, and you'll be totally fine. Yeah, social distancing as well. Take that into consideration. And yeah, why not do this as an activity with kids or with your friends at other half? Mm. Crafts and arts, I think, is a fun thing to do, right? I think so. Yeah, think so, for sure. We've got uh, also uh, Little Pumpkin Pie saying, Cedric, yes, MacGyver that mask. You oh. are the next MacGyver. Absolutely. If we need a new one, Cedric can take over that mantle. I think so. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll get on to some more talk of hygiene and sanitization products. Can I tell you, how, how long did it take you? Sorry, could I ask? Okay, yeah, sure. For that mask. So the mask took me probably about i want to say 15 to 20 minutes all right yeah i mean obviously i sped up the video a little bit um but about 15 to 20 minutes and that's me just reading the directions making sure that i get everything correctly for the video and once you've done that a few times get the swing of it yeah maybe do it in 10 minutes or Uh, less than 10 minutes for sure yeah Yeah. uh second video so second video is going to be uh making your own hand sanitizer now this is actually a lot quicker and a lot easier and it's very cheap to do so let's watch you just need a handful of products. Okie dokie. There are three main ingredients. Ethanol. Ethanol. Purified water. And okay. then glycerin, which kind of gives you more of a jelly uh, type of texture. Otherwise it would be just like water, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Right? So four parts ethanol, one part water, two parts glycerin. Yes. So this is what I use. I actually used a lot just to stock up. You can just mix it in any plastic container like yeah. you're using just a mineral water bottle or something. Yeah, or you could just pour it in a bowl and uh-huh. just mix it with a spoon. That's fine, too. So just give it, it a shake. Oh, Get your little funnel. So you've got a little plastic container which has like a spray on it. It does. So any plastic container would do, honestly. But the spray is pretty convenient. A little pump action there. Here we go. Pump, pump. Ah, so it's not a spray spray, but like a little one for dispensing gel. Yeah. Fantastic. That was actually my first time trying it. (laughs) And I'm satisfied. Your hands look (laughs) lovely, Cedric. Thank you, thank you. So I, uh, for those of you guys that are watching, I do have the hand sanitizer in the studio. And I want... uh, I was was caught on rubbing my eyes earlier in hour number one. And all the listeners went mad. Like, stop touching your face, Peter. Wash your hands. So give me this and I can rub my eyes away. All right, so I'm going to get pumped this gel okay it's, it's a little liquidy a little liquidy but i can see that it's not completely water and i'm just gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get oh some. man because there's no scent in there you can really tell that's ethanol yeah. right i think i'm getting a little bit drunk just smelling <laughs> it which could be a benefit maybe people want that feeling. there we go yeah but the ethanol is obviously the th- the part that really does the killing of the germs wow that yeah, smells so that's clean. the key ingredient yeah that's cool uh and really, they do say washing your hands, sanitizing your hands, that's the most important part right. of fighting COVID-19, even more so than masks, because you'll inevitably touch your eyes, touch your nose, touch your mouth. Right? Yeah, and I've been finding myself using hand sanitizer all the time, whether I'm in public. Whenever I see a bottle, yeah. I'll just I'll just use it. Why not? You know. And then I started carrying around my own. Before I actually made this one, I have another one, but mm-hmm. I think I'll start carrying this one around too. I and so, think it could be cost effective as well. If you buy those raw ingredients in big quantities, then surely making it would be yeah. cheaper than buying. Yeah, it, right? just a couple of thousand one can yeah. get you uh, a hearty supply of hand sanitizer. And then you can reuse that bottle again and again as well, exactly. which is great for the environment. Exactly, right? it's win win all round. But if you wanted to make this nicer to the nose can you make it nice smelling that's a very good question yes you can actually use certain types of like fragrant oils mm-hmm. just to put in there which i didn't have access to any i really wanted some you're not a fragrant oil man I, mean, I, I like a nice little <laughs> lavender scent you can here just put there. a few drops in there <laughs> yeah and it should do the trick so that is a power tip for you guys if you uh-huh. want to make this but i do encourage you to try to make this i think most of your local drug stores or pharmacies should carry the main ingredients if not you should be able to get some online. Yeah, there was a run on those products. When hand sanitizer sold out in the first couple of weeks Mm -hmm. of this thing, then everyone bought the ethanol, and it was hard to get that. Right. And it's still not as easy as it used to be, but uh, between yourself and the writer, we managed to find a bottle or two. We (laughs) did. We did. And if you also look online, though they are, again, selling selling out everywhere, if Mm -hmm. you give yourself enough time, you should be able to get yourself some. Yeah. shouldn't be too much of an issue. I heard that the general rule of thumb is you need the alcohol, so that ethanol, at least at 60% 
percentage and then、mm. it will kill the germs. And then you can mix in. I had a good tip, and I do have a lot of this product at home for when I get sunburn aloe vera gel. Yeah. And if you mix those two together, again, it gets a bit more thick and jelly、mm. and it can moisturize your hands. Because unlike you, Cedric, whenever I see the hand sanitizer, I kind of hesitate to use it because.、Okay. I get really dry hands if I use that too much. My skin、mm-hmm. starts to crack. I think now it's warming up, it's not as bad, but that is kind of always the downside for me. So maybe with a bit of moisturizing agent in there,、right. it could be a bit better.、Uh, Hussam says, This is a great idea. Just keep it away from the kids. They usually add isopropyl because it tastes bad, so kids would not drink that. Oh, as in for alcohol purposes, <laughs> do not drink this. No. Yes, we do not recommend it. I don't think it would taste good because that's like way too high at alcohol. It's content, just, right? Yeah, it's almost like just straight pure alcohol. You don't want that. Harfi Project's on board as well. Becky,、uh, does she manage to experience these products or is she seeing them for the first time now? No, she's actually she was, she was there supporting me、Good. as I was making it. I needed that support because you know, I'm not a big DIY person. But, she、um, approve of the mask? She did, and、yeah. she actually helped me film.、So、Fantastic. Very grateful to her. She's wishing everyone to keep safe among the coronavirus and also her tip as well. Add a bit of a Essential oils. I do have some lavender at home, s e t t i n g Maybe I'll add it to my hand sanitizer <laughs> and、uh, be sniffing it away. All right, guys and girls, it's your chance in part three to show off what you're doing for COVID 19. Any products, any masks, any hand sanitizer, doesn't have to be homemade.、Uh, send it in via Cacao Talk. Our username there is Daily K. We'll be back after some Daya. This is Uwa. Wow, wow, that was dire. And we've got Cedric in the studio, part three of K Patch, talking about some hygiene products useful for the fight against COVID 19 that you can make at home. We've already seen the mask. Have you still got it handy, Cedric? Just yeah, for anyone who、sure. wasn't watching earlier, don't hide it away. Be proud <laughs> of that, Ceddy. Here it is.、Uh, you could start your own line of fashion masks for anyone who wants a bigger mask look. I、right? mean, the more that I see it, the more I feel like it would make a Very bold fashion statement. Yes, it would. I don't know what、yeah. the statement would be, but it would be a bold <laughs> one at that.、Uh, we've also got the hand sanitizer as well. These little pump bottles, you find them in many, many places, right? Like pharmacies and stuff usually sell them empty. Right, pharmacies or some、stuff. of the, the local marts, like the, the D. So,、oh, and you know, is that a message to me? You are the apple of my eye, it says here. on here. That's lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cedric. Not a problem. If you want to re watch these videos or you've missed them, don't worry, they are uploaded onto V Live and I believe YouTube as well. Adidang Radio, and just type in hashtag DailyK and K Patch, and you'll find them.、Uh, lots of messages coming in. Zana says, Oh, this is really useful information. Thanks for that, Cedric. I'm sure this is one of the more useful things we've done on the show. Usually, yeah, lots Very, entertainment. very practical.、Yes. Very practical. So you're very welcome. Also, Mamlu Farabi says, Wow, I would try to make this with my little sister. Thank you, Cedric. Oh, you are very welcome. It wasn't just my idea, it was just all of us here at Arirang Daily K. So be sure to thank them as well. I think this could take up a whole afternoon of me and the kids because we are staying at home a lot. Make the、yeah. mask and then make the sanitizer as well. Forrest Villopa Hartley says from the States, Folks here have、uh, bought up a lot of toilet tissue because they had a fear they're going to shut down the Stores. The government has been surprising us little by little with these COVID preparations. I hope it's not too bad out there. There does seem to be a lot of criticism of certain administrations in the West.、Yeah. I hope you have some toilet tissue to buy because that would be inconvenient not to have.、Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Siska says, I made herbal drink. Uh, to boost up my body immune system, it's from red ginger, turmeric, cinnamon,、uh, curcumin,、Ooh. lemongrass, and add brown sugar to make it a bit sweet. Well, that sounds like that sounds it's just、nice. good for general health, isn't it? So that's a good idea to eat as healthily as you can, especially during this outbreak. And you also said in Indonesia, we make emergency masks out of wet tissues, the wet wipes. Hmm. That would be interesting, but wouldn't it be a bit soggy on your yeah, face? That's a combination of the face mask and the Korean style. <laughs> yeah. The, the cosmetic mask. Yeah. Two for one, maybe. Who knows? <laughs>、uh, Cam Cam asks us could we use rubbing alcohol instead of the ethanol? We're not. Total experts in this field, me and Cedric. Let's put that <laughs> disclaimer out there. But it does seem like 
rubbing alcohol, it says, is at least 70% alcohol. So if you used enough of it, I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, I would suppose so. Probably the parts would be a little different because the rubbing alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, as I was telling Peter in the song break, it's a lot stronger from what I remember because oh, I grew really? up on it. The yeah, scent so is... the scent and uh, it feels like, I mean, you put it on an open wound, you're going to be screaming. Really? It's just so. Is that a common thing then in the States to I don't use know, that? That, as that, was, that was what my mom did. I don't know if that was like science or anything, but every, every time we got hurt, she just threw some rubbing alcohol on it. Well, yeah. I'm and that turned out fine. I'm on their Wikipedia page. I've never seen that in the UK. <laughs> Here in Korea, what they used to use, and still we've used for our kids from time to time, is iodine. It's like iodine, really brown. Okay. And so you see the liquid yeah. when you put it on the wound. That hurts quite a lot as well, <laughs> but doesn't smell too bad, I suppose. Right. Will says, I received a message yesterday saying that COVID-19 can be cured overnight by taking eight chopped garlic and seven <laughs> cups of water, what? bring to a boil and eating the garlic and drinking the water. I feel like, I don't know if Will is trolling us or if he really got a message, but who did you get the message yeah, from? Yeah, where I'm curious. is that from? Is it some kind of spam <laughs> or smishing or something like that? I'm really curious. Yeah. Uh, Zana saying, the upside of COVID-19, staying at home, I'm just binge watching Korean dramas, Kingdom and Ite One class. That is a good thing to do in these times. But I've heard that people are even getting a bit fed up of that. Like, yeah. they've been watching too much. Yeah, I think now. people are just... just getting that cabin fever, just being inside, and so... We've got something from Cam in the US. Uh, this is a photo that he posted for the health screening, I see it says there. You say, we've got this at work recently, and also we've got a, a janitorial service more frequently to keep surfaces clean. Also, in every room there is hand sanitizer. So we've got posters like this everywhere in Korea as well, right? Asking us... Do you have a fever? Do you have a cough? Right. Call this number. I think it's uh, 1330, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it seems like the US is now really getting on board with the seriousness of this situation. Yeah, yeah. Better late than never. You know, people are complaining <laughs> that it's, uh, you know, it's they're a little behind the curve. But I think uh, it sounds like they're starting to ramp up, yeah. you know, the testing and, and taking this thing seriously. Have you spoken to family or friends back in the US? You what know, do I they have. think of it? Yeah, so my family who... They're they're out in North Carolina, uh, which every state at this point, with the exception of West Virginia, uh -huh. as of a couple hours ago, has cases now. Oh, really? And so that's it's a just lot. One state without it. Yeah, one state, wow. and it's only a matter of time, I think. But uh, my family's doing okay. My mom, who I'm, you know, she's a little older in sure. age, and I'm just a little concerned. Yeah. Uh, she seems to be just chilling. <laughs> Is she taking precautions like staying in more or? Yeah, you know, she stays in most of the time anyway, watching okay. the kids and. So I think the concern is making sure the grandkids are, you know, healthy. And also my sister, she works at a hospital. She's a doctor. And so, okay. you know, a little concerned about that. But I think they're doing everything they can to Fantastic. just, you know, make sure they don't get affected. Yeah, I've heard that it is a problem that kids can often carry the virus and not show symptoms, like which is a wonderful thing for kids. Like Not many have fallen too sick with it, but it's when they meet the elderly grandparents yeah. and stuff that they can pass it on. Uh, fingers crossed that doesn't happen in cases both with your mum and anywhere, I suppose. Uh, Rao updates us, and I think you're right, 1339 is the call centre number. Uh, that's the hotline office for the virus crisis at the moment. Thank you very much much for that update uh, a few oh, yeah. more tips and interesting info said he that we've got to present yeah so here are here's some interesting information mm -hmm. that uh, it's been happening in in the u.s okay uh, you know obviously we know that with the shortages of supplies people yep. have been just buying up toilet paper <laughs> but there's an interesting story about a man who uh, purchased seventeen thousand bottles of hand sanitizer i saw this on social media yesterday mm -hmm. and I thought initially, oh, he's hoarding it. What a terrible person. But <laughs> right. he was looking to like sell it easily. Yes, right? yes. He's a seller on one of the big online marketplaces. And uh -huh. so he saw an opportunity once it hit the US to yeah. actually sell and upcharge okay. uh, the bottles of sanitizer. And so he, I think the first day or so, he uploaded it. Um, to sell, okay. uh, the site took it down because the site started to crack down on everyone who started selling these type of products oh, really? to capitalize on what's been going on. So anyone who's like overcharging. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. So he's been stuck with 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer <laughs> in his you know, garage or storage. And he has no nowhere to sell them. No way to it. sell them. Oh, wow. Well, I guess it serves him right for trying to take advantage of the situation. Um 
New York City have also done something to kind of combat that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, of course, in New York City, uh, tons of people, hand sanitizer flying off the shelf. So what the government did there was they actually produced and released their own uh, hand sanitizer to sell to the public. Their own line. Their own New line. New York City. Yes. And wow. uh, so, yeah, so the governor announced it uh, just a couple of days ago, about a week ago. And uh, yeah, it was really funny because <laughs> they made this like this huge grand thing, but uh-huh. it was just like bottles of hand sanitizer. So, but at least they're doing stuff. something. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's better than nothing, isn't it? These days, I think the only thing we're really struggling on a wide scale to get our hands on is the mask but yeah. as we mentioned last week it started the rotation policy did you get your two masks last I, week you know i didn't do the rotation policy yet going uh-huh. through a pharmacy i did actually manage to find um some kf94 masks oh. in the subway system oh wow yeah uh, so awesome. they just had some i think they just probably got a new um shipment in and so i you know bought two they were very expensive yes yeah they're much more pricey than they used to be right right Uh, about a thousand or one or less they used to be and now i've seen them for as expensive four or five thousand right right? i paid four thousand for each goodness gracious speaking of which Mm -hmm. how much did it cost you to make that mask with those materials very good question so i was able to make the mask for under eight thousand one. so about seven thousand one hundred is what i spent that's an expensive mask as well, isn't it then? But if but, you could only change like the inside or the outside, you've got right. more of those in those packs. Exactly. Right? So that's the thing. I'm able to make about 20 masks. Oh, wow. For 7,100. That's not bad then yeah. at all. All right. I'll put in an order, Cedric. Okay. <laughs> if I miss my two this week, I'll be looking forward to I'll give you a discount. To... Yes. Thank you so much, <laughs> buddy. We could uh, give them away as prizes as COVID-19 sweeps the world to our listeners. Cedric's own masks. Uh, many of you saying, yeah, you're pretty sure you could just draw on them to make them look more fashionable. Yeah. You can't come up with a little logo or something like that. I think something. it would look brilliant. Uh, Cedric, next week's topic, I think we've got it in the pipeline, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll definitely confirm it, but it'll have something to do with this uh, unique photography uh, thing that that happens here in Korea. Oh, yeah. So it's a trendy thing where you can go and take pictures and have outfits. And so we'll show you guys that and it'll be really fun. All right. I guess as long as there's not a grave turn with COVID-19, that'll be our topic. Uh, We'll give you more details throughout the week. Cedric, again, stay safe. That's all I'm saying to everyone. And we'll see you next Monday. Thank you very much. Have a good week, everyone. Uh, Let's play some B2B to wrap up K-Patch. You're so fly. Non-kamdongia.